Okay, Akra, you can start reading from my screen. Do you see my screen? No. Oh, sorry. One second, I will make a share screen for you. I think you can see my screen now, right? No. Still no? Still no. Who is making this noise? Cousin. Your cousin. Mm. I think you can see it now. I'm sure. Okay. Now it's a back screen. Now it's, it's loading. Okay. You can start reading. Okay. Okay, a prayer so good, mashallah. But there is some mistakes in your recitation, and we will correct them together. Okay. One second. Can you uh, go to some place, some quiet place? I can hear so much noise. Okay, now it's quieter. Okay, no worries, sister, no worries, but I need... The Inshallah, I need her to concert, to concentrate with me. Okay, Akra. I need you to repeat after me now. This is Surah Al-Fatiha. Uh, you, mashallah, you know how to read it, but we need to correct some rules in Surah Al-Fatiha, okay? So, repeat after me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 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 Not it, 
الدين it's a dean this letter what is this letter can you tell me what is this letter uh. yeah so it's يومي الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين Okay, let's divide it. إياك نعبد إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين وإياك نستعين ما شاء الله very good إهدينا الصراط المستقيم إهدينا الصراط المستقيم Okay, what is this letter? Ikra? What is this letter? Um, sword. It's a sword, not seen. Okay? So, we will pronounce it as C, C, not C. إهدينا الصراط إهدينا الصراط إهدينا الصراط إهدينا الصراط إهدينا الصراط not tell it's طل this is طا not تا إهدينا الصراط إهدينا not tell. Iqra. This is tall. Okay. Say tall. This is heavy. Tall. And this is light. Do you know heavy and light letters? Okay. So we have seven heavy letters, which are. Can you tell me? Yes. Yes. Sod. You mean sod or the? Sod. Sod. Okay. And? Rain. Yeah. Very good. Tell me. Do you know more? Lamp. No. Lamp. Um, I mean, uh, lamp can come heavy in some cases, but I want you to mention the letters which all of the time comes heavy. You said four. Can you tell me more? Um, I. No. <laughs> I can help. Kho. Okay. Two left. Can you tell me? Tho. And the last one is Dho. Okay. They are seven. So here in the surah, little Tho is heavy. Right? And the little lamb here is light. So we will go to from heavy to light. إهدينا الصراط الطل إهدينا الصراط المستقيم إهدينا الصراط المستقيم Okay, it's a طل. Say طل. طل. Very good. Tol. Tol. To, to, tol. 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 
Very good. اهدنا الصراط ال. اهدنا الصراط ال. طل. طل. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم. Not Kim. Is this calf or calf? Calf. Okay. And the calf is a heavy or light letter? Heavy. Heavy. Very good, mashallah. So we have to say qi, not ki. Okay. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqim. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqim. Very good. Your cough is perfect here. Last one. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم ما شاء الله Not C, not C. We already know that C is a heavy letter. Okay, C, C, not C. It's a C, heavy. C, 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 C. Do you know? Do you know? I will tell you um a secret about the heavy letters. Okay. Do you know uh, that your tongue has two different shapes? In uh, while we're pronouncing the letters, two different shapes. One shape for heavy letters and the other is for light letters. Do you know that? Yeah, one for the heavy and the other for the letters. Okay? Mm -hmm. When we pronounce the heavy letters, our tongue, our tongue, Mostly the back part of our tongue rises up to the roof. I'll see. I'll see. Can you feel your tongue hitting the roof? I'll see. I'll see. Okay. And in the letter like noon, here in the word ennamta. Because noon here is light, your tongue stay down. Okay, where's your tongue? Down, right? But in the word. صراط الذين أنعمت صراط الذين أنعمت أنعمت Where is your tongue? Up or down? Down, because it's light. And in the heavy letters, صراط See, ta, ta. Ta. Where is your tongue in letter ta? Under. Oh, right. Mashallah, you are learning quickly. So smart. So, heavy letters, we can't pronounce heavy letters um, with a heaviness way while we pronounce, while we um, making our tongue rises up to the roof. Okay? Let's try. صراط الذين أنعمت. صراط الذين. نتة نتة هاني نتة ط صراط. صراط الذين أنعمت. صراط الذين أنعمت. 
Again. Okay, mashallah. Read this alone. Letters Alif, Lam, and Ra. Which one is heavy and which one is light? Can you tell me? Ra is heavy. All of the time? Mm -hmm. No. So you mean that Ra can comes heavy and also in another time scan comes light. You mean that? How about the lamb? The lamb is mostly light. Mostly light, but sometimes it comes heavy? Yes. How about the elif? The elif is heavy. Heavy all of the time? <laughs> okay. Um, we call these three letters that they are between heavy and light. Okay? Why we call them like this? Because these Three letters can come heavy or light with some conditions, okay? Today, inshallah, we will talk about only the lamb. And later, we will talk about alif and ra. So, how can we pronounce lamb when we see it in Quran? Okay, I will tell you, any lamb in Quran comes light except except lamb in the exalted name of Allah but not all of it there is some conditions also okay if we started if we started with the exalted name of Allah if we started the sentence the verse the ayah with the exalted name of Allah lamb in the exalted name of Allah will be heavy 
Allah or Allahumma. Allahu. Allahu. This is like in Surah Al Ikhlas. Okay. In Surah Al Ikhlas. We, we will start here with the exalted name of Allah. So we will say, Allahu Samad. Allah, Allah, Allah. Can you see, can you hear the lamb? It's heavy. Allah, okay? Because we started, we started our sentence or our verse with the exalted name of Allah. So lamb here will be heavy, okay? The other one here, if the exalted name of Allah was proceeding by a letter with Fatha or Dhamma. Do you know Fatha and Dhamma? Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma, do you know it? No, you don't know it. Here, when we put this dash on the, on the letter, we call it Fatha. Okay, when we put it under the letter, we call it Kasra. If we put this small well on the letter, we call it Dhamma. Okay? <laughs> okay, so if the letter before Allah has fatha or dhamma, okay, what can we, what will we do? Lamb in the exalted name of Allah will be heavy, like this. Can Allah say after me? Can Allah very good because noon here before the exalted name of Allah has fatha. Okay, so lamb will be heavy. Okay, and here, Yashaullahu. The letter, yes, the letter before Allah has dhamma, so lamb in Allah will be heavy. Okay, and the last one, if the exalted name of Allah was proceeding by a letter with Kasra, under the letter like this, Lamb will be light. Can you hear it? Can you hear the difference? Yashaullahu indillahi. Can you hear the difference? Uh huh. Okay, let's go to the surah. Tell me here the exalted name of Allah, heavy, uh, the lamb in the exalted name of Allah, heavy or light? It's heavy. Because? Oh. Tell me the reason. Uh -huh. Because the world before it has a fat. Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah. I knew that. I knew that you are a smart girl, Masha'Allah. Okay, let me write something down. Okay. Tell me now. Dear, can you tell me, Lamb here, in the exalted name of Allah, have your light? It's heavy because the door before it, it has a dumbbell. Mashallah, Mashallah, very good. Mashallah, you are so smart. And can you tell me this exalted name of Allah? Lamb, how can you pronounce the Lamb here? Light. Why? Because the moon before it has a castle. Okay, can you pronounce this to me? Can you read this verse to me? Very good. Can you pronounce the second verse to me? Ma 
Masya Allah, Masya Allah. So, I need you to read this surah to me. Can you read from any, any page from Quran? Can you read lonely from any page from Quran? Masya Allah. Masya Allah. Read to me. This is Hamza. Sa'ala. Sa'ala sa'itum bi'adhabim waqiyah. Lilkafirina laysa lahu lahu tafiq tafiq. Okay, can you tell me, Lam here in the exalted name of Allah, have your light? Lam here, have your light? It's heavy. MashaAllah, why? Because the note before it has a fat on it. MashaAllah, you are very good. And I have something for you because you are so good. Continue reading. show you something do you know the pillars of Islam all of them okay do you see my screen well Hello? Huh? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you see my screen well? Yes. Let's start. These are the five pillars of Islam. We are looking at the five pillars of Islam. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What are the five pillars? Muslim people who follow Islam have five duties which are called the five pillars of Islam. And every Muslim tries to carry out these five things and it helps them to feel that they are members of the worldwide Muslim community okay pillar number one shahada what is shahada do you know shahada uh -huh. tell me shahada is uh, ashhadu 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 anna la ilaha illallah what and 
wa anna Muhammadan wa anna Muhammadan rasulu rasulu Allah Allah MashaAllah, you are so good. This pillar is believing and saying the words that there is no God except Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muslim say this when they are praying. And of course, you know that, MashaAllah, you are praying. Okay. Pillar number two is Salah. This pillar is praying five times a day. There are set prayers which Muslims should say, and all Muslim all Muslims should face Mecca in Arabia when praying and should pray on a prayer mat. Okay, people should wash before they, they pray. He means making wudu. There are fixed movements which include kneeling with the forehead placed on the ground in front. This expresses the servant states of the human being in relation to Allah. Okay? Number three is zakah. Each year, Muslims are supposed to give a sum of their savings for charity, such as helping the poor. In this way, they believe that their wealth is made pure. Okay. Number four is Psalm. Muslim people must not eat food and drink during the month of Ramadan during daylight hours. And number five is Hajj, pilgrimage. This is making a pilgrimage to Mecca at least once in your life if it can be afforded. Okay? Did you enjoy this? Yes. I will send it to you, inshallah. Okay?